Papita, this week's interview is double the intensity because our guest is none other than the man that wears many hats, both literally and figuratively. Welcome, Sanjay. Wow, oh, God, Sanjay. Hey, Bluetooth deal, Bluetooth deal. <laughs> That's a good man. Welcome to Intense, brother. It's a pleasure yeah. for me here, man. It's five words to describe your intensity. Five words to describe my intensity. All right, see it now. Um, it offers uh, definitely humble, articulate, um, charismatic, passionate, matter of fact, I can't take that back, understanding, and lastly, I'd have to say unaffected. Explain what I mean by that. Well, what I really mean by that is that I always tell myself, uh, you know, no matter what happens, it's always to basically stay grounded and try not to be too affected by your, by your surroundings and even what's going on, be it good or bad, you know what I mean? Cause a lot of us are products of our environments in both positive and negative ways. Moving on, how you actually got started in the music industry. My first experience professionally was actually with Cat Core from Third World. You know, he, he, got, he did a solo album and I got the opportunity to do, actually do the title track of his solo, solo album with him. I, I sang named Uptown Rebel, actually. The album was actually also called Uptown Rebel. So that was my first introduction, real introduction into the music business. Cool, cool. That's interesting. I said, how did you make the transition from the music industry into TV? I want to tell you that answer there's a little bit more interesting because as a young artist, my, my dad at Jamaica, I moved back to Jamaica for pursuit of music. And my dad had dead for hungry, you know, good, good dead for hungry, you know. So, because you don't know, as a young artist, you're not really making an income. It's a sacrificial period where you try to make your name and you just do things to for, for, for build your brand. So, my dad had dead for hungry, and then I um, get the opportunity to um, Rickitchen Productions for, for actually be a production assistant on Rising Styles. And, and then from there, was my real first introduction into TV. And then after that, no one thing just kind of led to a next. And then the producer um, of Rising Stars, Sharon Schroeter, she approached me and said, listen, um, she's, I'm gonna be producing a show, uh, entertainment program called Intense. So would you be interested in auditioning? And some said, yeah, why not? You know what I mean? So from there, so we do that. And then the rest is just history, you know what I mean? You actually had a hit song with Man of My Word and then you seemed to kind of disappear for a little while. It seemed like you were even focusing more on TV for a little bit. Was that the case? You know, if I tell you the truth, that really wasn't the case, you know, but it's easy to have that perception because what happened was, I mean, at the time, I never stopped voicing. From a start, from a start the music, I've never stopped voicing songs. But what we get to realize is sometimes just the random voicing don't really benefit you as an artist unless you have a direct push behind one of the songs. And, and so, I mean, after Man of My Word, I had tons of songs after Man of My Word, but none of them actually really caught on in the same vein as Man of My Word. Because if you remember, The Garden Angel was a very big and a very popular rhythm. So that kind of helped attribute to that push. So, I mean, we did act and around that time is when I started on TV and then Intense came around and then now you're on TV every week. You know what I mean? People are seeing Intense all the while and them now hear the music with the same amount of frequency as what them I see upon TV. So them just assume, say, you kind of stop the music because the TV start overpower the music, but that was really never the case. Still, you know, what I mean, we, we, we was always voicing, but recently, no, we kind of we kind of realized where we're going and we kind of change up the strategy a little bit, so to give the music a little bit more visibility as well too. Cause we realized that uh, just random uh, voicing don't really help. So what we do is we pick a project, we have a song, and we just promote that to the fullest of our ability, and we stick with that until we have the next project. So it's just project after the project right now, and you know what I mean. So how do you manage to actually maintain two full-time jobs like that? I want to tell you, it's probably even more than two full-time jobs we have too, but I mean, we like to stay productive. And, and, and the point about it is that what, what TV really teach me as an artist, or as a person really, is for me professional. It's professionalism, you know what I mean? And time management. So which one would you say is your true passion? Because really and truly, you know, I, mean, I, mean, I, don't want a, like, I don't want a stereotypical answer of, uh, tell me what is your true passion? No, I'm not getting a cliche answer. I mean, if you tell the truth, it's obvious. I mean, I, 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 I came back to Jamaica in the first place for the music. I actually love both fields because enter, it, it all falls under the same umbrella of entertainment. So yeah, I love TV as well as I love music. But at the end of the day, my true passion has always been music. So musically now, tell us. Tell us all about this new single because we're hearing it on the radio and all these things. So tell us a little bit more about this new single. Yeah, I'm gonna give thanks for the for the good feedback rate I get so far still. But I mean, um, it's a song called Harder They Fall, um, produced by Washroom Entertainment for my label, Portland Cottage Productions. Um, actually, 
what, what we did was we actually sampled Jimmy Cliff's chorus from the Harder They Come, the classic Harder They Come, you know, one of my favorite reggae songs. Mm. So we hence the we changed the title to Harder They Harder They Fall because you don't know it's a dancehall version, the more contemporary dancehall version. So that's really it, you know what I mean? We just decided for just take it lyrical, just go lyrical with this one, you know what I mean? The Harder They Fall. Were there ever any thoughts of actually ruining it or spoiling this song that 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 is so dear to people's hearts? I, I wasn't really thinking in that. In, in, in those terms. I mean, I, just, I was just thinking this is one of my favorite reggae classics, one of my favorite songs. And I was just thinking, I don't know if we do enough of sampling from our own, our own music, our own genres. You know, when you listen to a lot of hip hop and a lot of uh, those types of music, they, they sample from a lot of R&B, they sample from a lot of things in general. So I was just thinking it might be a unique, a unique way uh, of just approaching it, a unique way of doing it. And the reason why I chose that one, like I said, is because it's just one of my favorites, you know? There, there, there's a little bit of speculation as to, as to whether you're throwing words at any one particular artist in this song. What's the case? To clear that up for us. Is there anybody that this song is really targeting? <laughs> no, man, not at all. It's definitely not a true word song. I mean, I think people speculate about that because tons of artists have been doing a lot of lyrical songs lately, you know? I mean, you had... You had Vibes Cartel, the lyricist song. You had, I think, I Don't, that did have a lyric lyrics song. You have Munga with his lyric song. And then, to make it worse, for Component, I think I did even say Cartel name in the song to some people. I said, oh, I wonder if it's a true word type of song. But not like that, you know what I mean? Cartel is actually one of the top dancehall lyricists to me right now. And Eminem is the, my favorite lyricist of all times, which is why I kind of use the two of them name in other line them, just to try to prove a point for, for sure my lyrical prowess as well, too. You know what I mean? Cartel is one of the first big artists to ever give me a strength as an artist. I'm, I always respect that, so I'll never be disrespectful in that way towards him. So how does Jimmy Cliff himself feel about it? You know, this is one of his biggest songs, I mean, and it's a pretty good cover, but if I may say so myself, but how, how, how does he feel about it? <laughs> I never really do it for offending anybody. And you know what I mean? It was more, it, I, I realized that it was probably not the correct way to go about it, but at the end of the day, it's really homage but really did I try to pay, play, pay to the artist and to the song by doing it. So it wasn't really a disrespectful move on my part. I just hope so at the end of the day, you know what I mean, a man can really appreciate the gesture. That song kind of serious, that's all. <laughs> so tell us, what next from the man with many hats? What's in the pipelines? Well, I mean, right now, our main focus, like I said, is to just set the career upon the right path. You know what I mean? For just, just get the thing going in the right direction, build a momentum, stay consistent with the music. But, I mean, there's other things we plan on doing for kind of help the vehicle of music as well, too. You know, I mean, we plan to start doing some little promotions as well to keep some little events that can also help propel the music and the whole movement. <laughs> Lastly now, tell us what most makes Sanjay intense. Well, I think what most makes Sanjay intense is just the multifaceted aspect or aspects of my personality. You know, I mean, the, 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 the mere fact that we can sit on us as an artist, we can sit on this <laughs> as an interviewer. We can, uh, we can jump behind the camera and be a producer. You know what I mean? And just all these very things and be fairly good at what I'm doing and just bring the same amount of passion towards everything and every, 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 every aspect of, of my life. You know what I mean? Just approach it with the same passion. You know what I mean? So definitely that, you know? See there, Pepita, one of the most intense artists in the business right now. By the way, Pepita, which one are we better looking? 